All right, hi everyone, Paul here. We're gonna see if full self-drive can take us home without having to intervene. I'm gonna get it out of this parking lot. We're in Tavares, Florida today, so not a very far drive, but it's always fun to see how Zoe can do. Uh, we tried this previously with a previous update and she had a whole lot of problems back in through this area. So I'm curious to see how she does today. And uh, feel free to, to put me on fast forward unless you want to listen to me app the whole time. But otherwise, we'll see how she does. All right, so far so good. Uh, sometimes on these, these unlined roads, we end up with, well, just a lot of deviation. We end up doing almost what feels like a serpentine. But here we go, all right. A little more in the center than I like, that's okay. I know I'm nitpicking now, which, you know, once we get to the nitpicky phase of how she drives, that's, that's a good thing. Phantom slow down for some reason, I don't know why. You know, I keep waiting for, uh, of course, we're all waiting for the next massive update that, that's due out at some point for FSD. Um, we're at 10.8 right now. Um, from what I understand, we're probably gonna be going straight to an 11, which is supposed to be a whole lot different. Cannot wait for that. Uh, of course, we have the new visualizations from the UI version 11. All right, we're coming up to a yellow light right near the hospital, so that's good. All right. We can figure out which part of the lane we're supposed to be in. Now these lanes are not lined very well over here. So it's always a, a fun challenge to see if we're gonna end up sort of cattywampus or how we're gonna end up in the lanes. But she did pretty good here. Uh, you'll see we have the, the camera turns on automatically whenever we have the turn signal on. You can see all the different vehicles moving. I, I do love the visualization. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this over. The visualization is just wonderful. Uh, I find that it, it gives a, a lot better feeling for what the FSD can see and can't see and you get to see some of the object permanents and as they're popping in and out of, of existence here so uh, it is fascinating comparing the the actual with what's on the screen at times. Okay, we're moving on a green arrow perfectly. That was perfect, actually, that was absolutely perfect. And I was curious with the oncoming traffic if we were going to have any stutters or any issues, and um, no real hesitation, just the normal, nice, cautious, slow movements. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, so she did an outstanding job. And of course, I'll point out the little blue steering wheel, just for those of you who aren't familiar with UI 11. Uh, the steering wheel's now over here. And if it's blue, of course, that means that um, Zoe is in charge. Zoe is the Tesla, my Tesla Model Y. And if you're new here, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate that. That does uh, a lot to help out the channel. Uh, in addition to that, if you have anything you wanna see, uh, I live in Central Florida. I am gonna be doing a, a trip down to Disney at some point to just drive the roads down there. Uh, with full self-drive to see how she does there as well as uh, around Universal and some of the other tourist areas because that's filled with people who aren't from the Florida area so they don't know the roads so that makes it a lot more fun when you think about people bouncing around different parts of the roads they're not supposed to. A whole lot of odd variables for the full self-drive to encounter so I'm looking forward to that. Anything you want to see, we've done a whole series with uh, the fire truck we own, uh, day and night versions. We'll probably wait another couple versions of FSD. There was no sense in doing it with 10.8. We'll just wait until we have an 11 or something even beyond that uh, to do another series of those. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, I've received a bunch so far that are on the list, but uh, I'm more than happy to show you what I can so you can get a better feel for it, especially if you don't have one. This is an opportunity to understand how far FSD has come. And if you're thinking about buying one, well, hopefully this helps you make a decision so you're, you're making it informed. 
little phantom braking there, but nothing major. Really well done. It's 100% Zoe. That was really well done. Those of you who watched the channel before, you know that I tend to put my hands up a little more in a firm stance whenever she's doing something that could potentially be uh, dangerous, like those little S-turns back there. Uh, my left hand is always on the wheel uh, off camera, but I do tend to bring my right hand up. Again, as long as you see that blue, you know that she's in charge. Um, obviously, I'm capable of taking her and taking her out very easily if necessary, but we'll keep her in. One thing I do like is, and I'd been saying that I wanted this, um, before if I would put the turn signal on, she wouldn't always change lanes. I think sometimes the, the FSD, it, it had a vector it wanted to go in. I've noticed though, particularly since this update 10.8, very responsive. If I put a turn signal on, um, she finds the gap and then gets right over. Now I also have her set to that aggressive mode. This way um, she is, you know, going to take actions a little faster. And that seems to be really helpful, um, I think. Uh, maybe that's part of the difference as well. But it, it does make me happy because there are times that, you know, I just don't want to be behind a specific vehicle um, for whatever reason, or just, you know, maybe it's just obstructing the view and I want to give a better view for the camera or I just want to get over now um, since I know that she's going to have to get over in about a mile and I'd rather just have a good steady camera angle um, heading straight. So uh, it's nice to know that, you know, if you do manually turn a turn signal, she's going to try and accommodate that. Now I have noticed that I did put her in one lane when I was on the way um, to that one appointment and we were going apparently very slow, about 30, 35 miles an hour in a 45. It was the same road on the other side. And next thing I know, she flips the left blinker on and gets back over the left lane and speeds by everyone. So, you know, I'm good with that too. But at the same time, it's, it's nice that she listens and, and got to where I wanted her to be. All right, so we're off and running. Now this next bit, it is just a, a pretty solid straightaway. So I'm gonna fast forward through this. Uh, if there's something that happens, of course, I'll, I'll slow it down and let you know what it is. But uh, this part from here, she tends to be a champ all the way up until the traffic light when we enter into Howie. So that's when I'll pick you back up. See you in a minute. Howie right now. Uh, right now we have a green light. My bet is it will be red by the time we get there, but we will see. Maybe not. That's what I thought. Okay, uh, it worked out perfect. All right, so we actually have the front position here. Um, and you should be able to see the traffic light on the camera. If not, no worries. Uh, she'll make sure she shows you here on the screen. We'll be making a left turn. It is not well marked. Again, that's uh, very common in, in, in Florida. So uh, you'll see a, a tougher turn, but here we go. We're green. Yeah, yeah, I'm touching it. I'm touching it. There we go. That is probably the best 
since she's done this. Uh, wow. So this has been a very boring drive. And I have to say, I like a boring drive. We haven't had any, any real false starts, any uh, challenges with uh, stutters, stops, swerves, uh, nothing that, that has made me disengage the autopilot. The only time I disengaged it was to show you that I can and that she's in it, and of course what the blue steering wheel means. Other than that, 100% driven by Zoe. So I guess the answer to the question, can 10.8 drive me from a doctor appointment home? The answer is yes, and I, I have to say that's, that's pretty impressive. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up as we enter Howie. I live just down the street here. so. I hope you all have a great day wherever you're at. I know it's snowing in a good portion of the country, so I hope you're staying warm. It's uh, chilly 66 degrees here today, so I feel your pain in a weird way. But with that, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.